Nearly five years ago, pop rock musician Taylor Hansen of Tulsa launched a mobile food initiative called Food on the Move. It's a collaboration of food and health experts to mobilize food trucks across Tulsa where poverty and hunger intersect. He recently spoke to Rotarians about why the initiative is so important. To understand the issues of food deserts is extremely complex. But what Food on the Move has set out to do was to be the ones to do the heavy lifting. And so we have spent now almost five years doing the heavy lifting, building trust, building partnership, creating a, a runway to take off that, to have that plane take off. A food desert is an area where there's not readily access to a grocery store and especially to fresh produce. And it's a, it's a term that really means we're talking about a, an economically challenged neighborhood, right? But um, when you think about the systematic removal of being able to go to a store and shop for your family, you're doubling down on, on the impact that that neighborhood has to come back to ever see a future because it's not, the food desert is not the cause, it is a symptom. It's a symptom of a community that has slowly been dying. And the more those things go away, the less chances that neighborhood, those towns, uh, that, that the property value of that corner house, that slow decline, it, it, it goes so steep that you can never come back. The hungry do not necessarily look like it. They might be a star athlete that is getting just enough um, sustenance to play in the football game, right? But they really don't have, when they go home, a meal to help them compete with the other star athlete that has, uh, that has a nutritionist on their staff, right? Um, they might be somebody that's working three jobs and has just a few dollars in a few hours, and the dollars they can spend to feed their family, they only have the, the time and the resources to spend it at a convenience store around the corner. The question is, do we fight for our own survival? Do we arrive at this issue of hunger, of food deserts, of access, and say, our future depends on these decisions. We have an opportunity to treat hunger and access to food as a mark of our own survival. And to treat it with the urgency and the excitement and the, and the drive and the ingenuity that we would give to saving our own family. And if we can do that, there is absolutely no question that in the next coming years we will be talking about the change that has come.